everyone, it's Julia. So if you're a fan of Immortal Instruments books like I am, then I'm guessing you're just as stoked for the movie. I'm going to show you how to create the perfect Shadowhunter look. I was mainly inspired by the books here, and um, this is how I personally imagined it a female Shadowhunter might look like. The character Isabel was one of my main sources of inspiration here, but that's what I love about reading. You can just let your imagination run wild. So are you ready to embrace the darkness and kick some butt in the underworld? So let's get started with the makeup. I'm going to start off with a cream eyeshadow in a silver color. This one's by the brand Creolan. And with a stiff brush, I just applied that onto the lid. And this is really going to help the eyeshadows really appear very vibrantly. And then I followed it up with a silver eyeshadow. This is one of the L'Oreal Infallible shadows, which I just love. And using a flat brush, I just patted that right on top. As you can see now, the color intensity is very, very strong. It almost has a very metallic sheen to it. And for the crease, I'm going to be using these two colors by Makeup Geek. I kind of just blended them together. And on a fluffy brush, I'm just going to work that right into the crease. This is just going to help to blend out the silver color and give some definition to my eye. And I went back in with a slightly darker eyeshadow. This one is also by Makeup Geek. And I used this on a slightly fluffier, bigger brush and just worked that onto the outer crease so you can get a little bit more depth there. And then I used this really, really deep black shadow. This one's by Ella Masca and I applied that with a smaller brush right along the very base of my lid. So kind of near where the lashes are. And I'm gonna give this really intense smoked out black liner. Then I blended that out using a blending brush and I'm gonna just apply this a few times so that you get a really good color payoff with that black eyeshadow. And underneath the brow, I used a very light, shimmery, creamy color. This one's again by Makeup Geek. And I just applied that right underneath my brow as a highlight and also to blend out some of those browns that I was using earlier. Then I went in with this black eyeliner pencil. This one's by Smashbox. It has a really good color payoff and I just layered that on top of the eyeshadow, the black eyeshadow that I applied before. And now you're just gonna have this really intense black cat eye look. And when you peel off the tape, you've got the perfect shape. Um, I used a little bit of makeup remover on a Q-tip just to remove any, you know, fallout or little mistakes that you might have made on the bottom. And I used a white cake eyeliner to do this. Um, this one's by Cryolan again. It is a dry product that gets activated with either water, but I used like a sealing gel and um, yeah, I used like a little small paintbrush and just applied that right onto the lower lash area and then cleaned up any messes again with a Q-tip. And that bright white contrast is gonna look really amazing next to a dark color. So I went in with a black gel eyeliner. This is the MAC uh, Fluid Liner. And again, using that fine tipped paintbrush, I'm just gonna apply that right below where I've had the white and just kind of connect it on the outer and on the inner part. So you get this beautiful feline looking eye. I think it looks really, really exotic and very, very dramatic. And on the lower lash line, I used a white coal pencil. I think this one is by Maybelline and I just applied that. So I also applied mascara top and bottom and false lashes. And moving on to the lips, I used a bright red lip liner and just lined and filled in my lips. And unfortunately, a lot of this just was not in focus so I couldn't show it, but Basically, I'd filled in the lips with that red pencil and then I used a darker burgundy pencil and just went on the outer part, like around the outer part of the lips. And you're gonna get this really gorgeous gradient by blending those two lip liners together. And then I topped that with this really deep red lipstick. It's a matte finish. Um, this one's by Inglot. I love this lipstick. I think it gives almost like a velvety finish to the lips. It almost looks like red velvet on the lips. I think it's just gorgeous. Put that on top and then used a lip brush just to blend all those products together so that 
you get almost like a gradient lip effect. And on the cheeks I used a very neutral color blush. This one's by Smashbox because I didn't want anything too crazy but I still wanted to define my cheekbones a bit and just give them a little bit of color and a little bit of depth. So I just applied that onto my cheeks and that's pretty much it for the face makeup. And for the rest I did the, the runes which are so so important to any of you guys who've read the books you know that they have these runes all over their body when they go into battle with the demons and I used a black cake liner by Ben Nye and some water and a big round paintbrush and just painted that on. Now I mostly stuck to my chest area but you can do this like all down your arms if you want to go all out. Um, but since I'm going to be wearing a jacket I decided to kind of stick to the area that's going to be showing. And you can definitely do the runes that they use in the movie, but I just kind of made them up as I went along. I used one of them that they show in the movie and the rest I just kind of, you know, went with whatever I felt like. You can also use some hairspray at the end to seal it in place and that is going to make them last longer. So it is a little bit tricky to do this on yourself. It might be easier if you're dressing up with a friend to get your friend to do it or whatever. Um, there you can see the runes as they look when they're finished. I also did some on the, on the tops of my hands because I thought that would be kind of cool when they're showing out of the jacket. So I'm wearing a black tank top because as you guys know shadow hunters wear head to toe black and I combined that with a black leather jacket because that is also what they wear in the movies and that's just how I envisioned them in my mind. So yeah this leather jacket is from H&M. I got this I think last season. I combined that with this very chunky belt that I also purchased a few years ago. I got that in Germany. It's a black like wide leather belt and you can also see some of the accessories. I got this armor ring from ASOS a while ago. I don't think they sell it anymore but you can look for something similar on eBay maybe and you know just look at costume jewelry in many stores they'll have like chunky jewelry like this. So for pants, I'm wearing leather pants. Uh, as you can see, this trend is continuing with leather, but that's actually also how they dress the actors in the movie. And I think it just goes well together, sort of head to toe leather, really kind of badass look. And for shoes, I went with these black combat boots. These are by the brand Bull Boxer. I think in the movie, Isabelle's actually wearing heels and I'm just like, Girl, how are you gonna combat demons with high heels? <laughs> that ain't practical. So I think, you know, combat boots go really well with this look. And that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys are gonna go see the movie. And if you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and a comment down below. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.